Hello everyone. In this chapter we are going to learn about investments. Most of the times you might have heard people asking you to save money. There are two concepts that is savings and investments. Are they one and the same? No. In real there is a difference between savings and investments. If you are keeping the money in your locker at home it becomes savings. On the other hand if you put that money into bank then it becomes investment then what is the difference if the money is in your home then it is not giving any return to you therefore it is savings but on the other hand if you are in if you are putting that money in a bank then you will earn something on that money so that is interest and the return you are getting it makes the money grow therefore investment is something which gives you something in return unlike savings so savings it doesn't give any return investment gives return so we can say investment is sacrificing today for gaining something in future here it says investment is the employment of funds on assets with the aim of earning income or capital appreciation and there are two attributes risk and time i said you are putting the money in your bank it means you can't use it now it takes time therefore we can say investment takes time and investment has a time attribute on the other hand it has risk too it means in case you are investing in bank at least you can have some idea about the return you are going to get on the investment but in case you are investing your money in sh uh, stocks uh, derivatives and other instruments you may not be able to guess how much you are going to return how much you are going to get on that investment so it creates a scope for risk the uncertainty of returns that creates risk here investment has two two attributes they are time and risk next let's learn let's learn about objectives of investment first one is maximizing the return as i said uh, investment is done mainly for the purpose of earning return so here maximizing return is the first and foremost objective of investment here if you are investing in bank you can earn a good amount of return but if you want to earn maximum return if you want to increase your return you have to go for other investment options other than these banks maybe shares bonds or derivatives and some other instruments second one is minimizing the risk here uh, talking about this risk there are two types of investors first one is risk takers and the second one is risk averse investors risk takers are the one who invite risk here if your risk is high return is also high it means you have to invest in those securities which are highly risky but they are they give the highest return to you therefore if you are a risk taker you can make higher profit on the other hand there are some other investors they are called risk averse investors or defensive investors and they are going to invest their money in those securities which are giving them a good amount of return but they are not highly risky securities most of the times these investors prefer to invest their money into bank and some commercial in uh, maybe some lic or uh, government schemes which gives them return but not higher return which cannot make help which cannot help them to make higher profits so two objectives maximizing the risk and minimizing the sorry maximizing the return minimizing the risk these are the two main objectives of investment then let's see the, let's see the subsidiary objectives maintaining liquidity here liquidity it means the convertibility of investment into cash without wasting time and value that is called liquidity if you can 
convert your investment into cash without wasting the time or value it becomes a liquid asset for example gold if you you can sell the gold and earn the cash without wasting much time or money here on the other hand if you are if in case this uh, fixed asset you will not be able to convert it into cash without wasting the va without losing the value therefore we cannot consider it as a liquid asset here gold is also not a very liquid asset but this cash itself is considered as a highly liquid asset so maintaining liquidity it is one of the aim next hedging against inflation here inflation too much money chasing too few product is called inflation it means the prices of the security will be very high on the other hand the value of the money will be very less it is a situation called inflation here you have to pay more for buying a very few products hedging against inflation here hedging means the method adopted by investor to reduce their loss that is called hedging here this investors can this investment help an investor to hedge himself against the inflation it means uh, the price rise can consider can be considered as a risk and against this risk the investors are hedging by investing their money next one is increasing the safety here if you have money in bank or some se uh, securities you can feel safe it, that is why we can say it is helpful to increase the safety last one is savings tax saving tax here if you have money it also leads to taxation so you have to pay tax there are some investment options which helps which comes under deductions maybe insurance and some kind of shares which helps you to save your tax amount these are the uh, different objectives investment has